So she came in and sat down and I introduced myself. She opened my started talking to her. Right away I know that I made a mistake. <laughs> Anything went east of the Mississippi River was bad news to me. And yes, she was you know, right out of Long Island. <laughs> God, what happened to me? Well, the interview went all right, as far as I'm concerned. She didn't go to sleep. She didn't throw any rocks at me. So, about two or three days later, she called up and says she could accept me as a boss. She wasn't sure whether she, she had some misgivings. She thought, yeah, I was, I'm, in those days I was very effervescent, smiling, always happy, just jumping around with all sorts of energy, just tremendous amount. And uh, so she said, well, she'd give it a try. And here you are. After about three weeks, she came in and says she could accept me for at least another six months and she'd give it a whirl. So I, I, I learned, you know, over the period of time, I didn't hire her, she accepted us. <laughs> Now, did Sherry work with you before oh. you met Sherry? Oh, don't, 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 don't bring that up. <laughs> the Bobsy Twins. <laughs> I can remember one of the, one of the uh, conferences. I'm walking. So, but I, I was a chaperone up there, and after the bars you know, closed, my job, whoever gave me this job, I went around to make sure all the kids got back to their room by themselves, <laughs> and, and reminding their visits. And I'm walking through the circle drive in front of the hotel, with nice bushes around, really pretty place. And I, I had a strange noise. And I looked around, and I walked around on the other side of the bushes, sitting on the curb. It wasn't Sandy, but it was somebody pretty well known by Sandy, Sherry Hart. And I said, Sherry, she was pretty new at the time. Too. And I said, Don't you work for Sandy? And she says, Who are you? And I says, Why don't we go in here and live? And we'll see where your room is or something. So here I am walking into the hotel lobby at approximately 2 o'clock in the morning or something like that, I don't know what it was. And I had this pretty young lady by the hand. And everybody's looking at me. What, what's this old man doing with this attractive young lady? Yeah, Harp, Harp was another case. Whatever happened?